In this video, we are going to demote a, a Windows Server 2016 core domain controller using PowerShell, of course. So the tasks that we will do in this video are first demote the domain controller, then remove the former domain controller from the domain altogether. After that, delete the computer object because it will still be in Active Directory. Also delete the server container from the site that it was placed in. And last but not least, we can also decommission the VM, which means deleting the virtual machine and its hard disk. Because when you delete in Hyper-V a VM, it does not delete also the virtual hard disks that it had attached. So in this moment, I am logged on on my DC01 machine and I will use PowerShell Remoting to uh, de-promote DC03, which is a domain controller we created in a previous video in this uh, series. If you want to see the previous videos, please go to my channel and you will find the playlist Windows Server 2016 Mega Series. Also, all the code can be obtained from my uh, GitHub page that is linked in the description. So I will uh, use PowerShell Emoting to connect to DC03. And uh, with this, I will run the first command, which will do the actual uh, de-promotion. And I am prompted, of course, for a uh, local administrator password, since uh, it will not be a domain controller anymore and will have local users again. And now the de-promotion is starting and it will not take a very long time. I will see you guys when it's finished. And the operation is now finished, as you can see, it did not take too long. The next step for us is now to remove the computer from the domain. And uh, to do this, we use this command, but we have to run it directly on the server as it will not work with PowerShell remoting. So on this yo 3 let's run the command. And uh, once it's done, it will also automatically restart the server. So now uh, the server is also removed from the domain. Unfortunately, the machine account still exists. So if I would run only this part of the following command, you would see that the uh, account exists, but it's disabled. I want to delete it permanently. And now it's deleted. Now for the cleanup, the next step is to also delete this server from the site. And if you are not sure what I mean, I uh, can show you very quickly if we open Active Directory Sites and Services. And if we go to the only site we have, uh, at least in my case, which is uh, default first site name, you see that we have DC01, DC02 and also DC03 which is actually not existing anymore, so we can delete it. And to delete it, we navigate to the AD provider in PowerShell. So right now, instead of seeing a folder in PowerShell, you see AD. And we remove the server object. And that's it. Now the last part of the video is the actual removal of the virtual machine. To remove the VM, of course, we need to go to the host. So I'm on my Hyper-V server. Let's shut down the machine. Delete it. And uh, also we need to delete the hard disk that it had attached. This is the file. And right now we have successfully depromoted our uh, uh, domain controller. We also decommissioned it. So everything is uh, right in the world in this moment. 
If you found the video useful, please leave a like and share it. Consider subscribing if you're not subscribed, as you will receive notifications when I put out new videos. And thanks a lot for watching.